Hi students, this video will take about 10 minutes, so bear with me because I think you're going to find it a very profitable 10 minutes. In the video you're going to learn three things. Firstly, you're going to learn who I am, and secondly, you're going to learn why you can actually do better academically because of being out of the classroom, because of something called visible learning. And third, you're going to learn how just two highlighters can make you a better student. So let's get into the class. For any of you who don't know me, my name is Paul Tozio. I'm a psychologist who qualified at the University of Oxford, and I am one of the world's leading specialists in study skills. In that capacity, I run a class called Easy Cheater, which teaches memory and speed reading skills especially, as well as some other techniques, and I teach these skills to students in countries all over the world. Today, I'd like to give you a brief lesson titled, How to Change Your Life with Two Highlighters. Simple things that you can do right now to make sure you don't only fall behind in the time of Corona, which we want to avoid at all costs, but actually, contradistinctly, you become stronger academically. At the moment, schools around the world have crashed to a halt. Millions of students are no longer having live classes as they usually do, but they're relying on self-study and virtual classes with their teachers. I can relate. Even under lockdown, I've been helping students in countries including Canada and Kenya, Singapore and South Africa, Turkey and Uganda, to name only a half dozen countries. I've had students and parents contacting me terrified for what this situation means for their immediate academic future. Classes may not be going on, but the exams are still coming nonetheless, and plenty of people are worried that their grades will crash because they're not getting to the classroom, and they're not getting the class contact that they usually do. Well, this isn't the first time that students haven't been able to get to a live class, and I can give you some good news. Many students actually perform better after incidents that preclude them going to live classes. This may seem crazy, but two obvious incidents come to mind. In 2011, Christchurch, New Zealand was devastated by an earthquake which closed schools for many weeks. And, of course, a few years before that, Hurricane Katrina wrought destruction to New Orleans in the United States, closing many schools in the area for months. In both cases, students found that their results actually improved by the end of the academic year rather than suffering. And they didn't have Zoom classes and all of the various online resources that are currently available to us in the 20s to take advantage of. So the question is, how on earth was there a kind of benefit to a disaster? Well, there's a brilliant professor of education, his name is John Hattie, who looked into all this. What his research found is that in this dire situation, teachers became very clear about what students needed to learn and emphasised what was most important in their learning. Consequently, students focused more on what was essential, and they learned faster and better as a result. As Professor Hattie would put it, the teachers were no longer hiding the point to learning. They weren't making the learning objectives invisible, they were being really clear that you need to know A, B, C, and D. They were making the learning outcomes visible. Hattie actually specializes in what he calls visible learning. The visible learning advises teachers to make their learning outcomes as clear as day. It also advises students to focus on those outcomes rather than faffing about with secondary bits of information, because there are millions of such secondary bits of information. Getting to the point allows you to learn much faster. And so I incorporate a number of visible learning techniques when I teach. Even at the beginning of this video, I told you that we would learn three things. And we've just finished the first two of those. Which brings me to the third objective. How two highlighters can change your life. I want all students to find two highlighters that you are only allowed to use for the following purposes. Also, you have to use them for, for the following purposes. It's not, it might be nice. It's a, I have to get into the habit of doing this constantly kind of thing. You are sitting with a nasty big chapter with thousands of words and hundreds of facts, but usually only a couple of key points that you really need to understand from the chapter. The first highlighter is one which you use 
only to highlight the most important information which answers the learning outcomes of a section. Now, you might wonder how on earth you know what those outcomes even are, but the good news is that most textbooks nowadays literally tell you. Usually on the first page of a chapter, you'll find a table called learning outcomes or learning objectives or study aid or study objectives or by the end of the chapter, a student should be able to. You know the one I'm talking about. It's the page that you look at and say, oh, thank heaven, something I don't need to read and turn the page over. Well, I can tell you that it is the most important section in the entire book because for once the textbook or your teacher or your school is making the learning priority visible. They are telling you this is the golden stuff. They're sort of saying the whole point to this chapter is for you to know the following five things and once you know those five things, you can burn the chapter. So we really need to prioritize them and this is how you do that. Before reading a chapter, read the aims and objectives and then scan the chapter to find the answers to those learning outcomes and highlight them. This way, when you open the chapter and see anything in blue or orange or pink or whatever color you've chosen, you know that it is one of the core bits of information. It's not secondary, it's primary information and this color that you select cannot be used for anything else. Now, if you don't have those aims and objectives, the second best thing to look at is any summary which is on offer. The summaries, by the way, also include diagrams and tables. Highlight the headings of any of these kinds of summaries with that same color to remind you that knowing them is essential. You then memorize these essential bits of information. Memorizing all your work will kill you, so you don't do everything, and we've got enough trouble already in the time of Corona. But memorizing these key bits is super important. Now, the bad news for most of the people viewing this video is that you probably don't know how to speed read or to use your memory as well as you could. The good news for those of you who have done Easy Cheetah is that you do know how to speed read and you do know how to use your memory like a bath. So, if you are aware of how to do that, getting the core information is much faster through the use of speed reading. And of course, remembering it is very easy too if you know how to use your memory properly. So, speed reading can help you read literally dozens of times the speed that most people can, and using visual memory techniques allows you to store thousands of bits of information in your mind with ease. Uh, by the way, if you haven't attended the class, the good news of course is that I'm running Zoom classes during this time, and all you have to do is contact me on info at easycheetah.com or plus two seven seven two eight five eight six seven four six and you can sign up for those classes. So don't worry about that. You can learn it if you haven't, but the idea is you use that first highlighter to identify the most important information as rapidly as possible and then you memorize it. So that's the first highlighter, but what about the second highlighter? Well, this is maybe the least sexy advice that I give students, but it is really super important. Oftentimes, a student will request a follow-up session with me. And by the way, anyone who does attend the class gets access to me at any time they want, uh, so follow-up support is absolutely free of charge. And I want you to remember, for anyone who has attended my classes, I am available to you. So. If anyone does ask a follow-up, I'll frequently ask them to send forward the section of work that they're battling with, or that they're battling to memorize, or that they're not understanding. And in probably 95% of the time, when I get the work, I'll message them back and say, but Amachle, or Stephen, or Priyanka, or whatever the name might be, I know you, and I know that you are far cleverer than this section of work requires you to be. So, I have a hunch that I know why you're not understanding what's going on. And here's where the second highlight comes in. I'll tell them, please could you go through the work, don't take more than a few seconds to do this by the way, it's not even a comprehension exercise now, so just highlight any words or phrases to which you don't know the meaning. And inevitably what comes back is a page with a handful of terms that have been highlighted in that dedicated colour. Now, you might say, three phrases on a whole page, what's the issue? 95% of the words on the page were easy. Well, 
you're understanding what I'm saying in this video pretty well, I'm sure. But if I, in the middle of a sentence, is this not so special, which book I like to make me want to intend to learn a pump on the end? Do you notice what happens? Your concentration goes very, very quickly out the window, and of course, your concentration suffers as well. Because without the necessary vocabulary required to understand what a section of work is talking about, you cannot understand it. If you read a phrase like socio-economic inequality or Gini coefficient and you don't know the word, you cannot understand what the section is talking about. I don't care if you're Einstein. You cannot learn when you do not have the relevant vocabulary required to conceptualize what somebody is talking about. So that's what the second highlighter is for. It has to live next to you. And any time you see a word that you have not seen before, that you don't know the meaning of, it has to be highlighted. It's not optional. Then you look up the meaning, memorize the meaning, and make sure you're able to figure out, based on that, what is going on in the particular section. On my course, I teach students how to learn and retain the meaning of new words in literally seconds. I'm not going to teach that now, because uh, you don't give the cow away if you sell the milk for a living. But it is incredibly easy to do with a tiny bit of memory training. But in the meantime, however you are able to memorize the meaning of a word, it's important. So those are two really easy tricks to help you. And if you do them consistently, I think you're going to see some real benefits. One highlighter for the answers to any of the learning outcomes in the section of work you're doing. The other highlighter for any words that you're unclear about. If you focus on only those skills, you should be a more effective student and you can benefit from this really weird time that you're finding in your educational life. Obviously, I teach way, way more content than you've seen now and in much greater depth. So if you are interested, uh, please get in touch via info at easyteacher.com or you can send a WhatsApp to plus two seven four two zero, which spells uh, numerically plus two seven seven two eight five eight six seven four six. Any of my former students who are watching this video, get in touch so that I can help you ace your upcoming exams. I absolutely love hearing about how former students have suddenly won the Rhodes Scholarship and they're heading off to Oxford, or how someone has suddenly got their degree cum laude, or any manner of success. So basically, it gives me a buzz to know that I've helped people to be the best learners throughout life that they can possibly be. So, take advantage of my willingness to help. It is meant very sincerely. Have a great day, everybody, and cope with Corona.